Zurich before Christmas Eve is pumping. So many people here, crazy. Let's go to the restaurant though, where we have a reservation. We are at the train station. Over there is the big famous statue. And behind me is Brasserie Süd. Newly opened from famous chef Nenad Mlinarovic. Mlinarovic, sorry for pronunciation and Valentin Diem. French cuisine style with a hint of international flavors. I'm gonna show you everything from interior, vibe, and obviously food. Let's go. So the menu is quite extensive. That's the huge list. Quite pricey, but I didn't expect anything less. There's from caviar to even the bread costs six francs. Yeah, mac and cheese, you can get lobster, black angus, filet beef, fish, mussels, whatever you want. Let's see what we're getting. Omar still hasn't decided yet. What should he take? Let him know in the comments. <laughs> All right, we got our food. Here is the beef croquette, which he, which he dropped somehow. That's why it looks like this. What do you think about that? It mm. almost fell on the floor. It almost fell on the floor. Not so. No. Okay. Yep. Negroni for him? Yeah. Negroni. Yep. And the iced tea. Yep. Thank you. And then it just drops the iced tea in front of me. Okay. Thank you. Unsweetened iced tea. Not so my taste. I'll show you the Negroni for 15 francs. This is it. About two deciliters. And here are the sardine and capers. Omar will cut it in half, so we share. Okay, so far looks good. Not that bad, let's see how it is. All right, here's the first thing. A lot of pickled onions on top. Let's try. Very fishy-like. I usually don't like sardines and caper and it stays like this because that's not really my taste very salty so if you like salty fish that would be good for you you like it the fish this will be the first bite i had the beef croquette and that's a little bit dry to be honest not so happy face okay let's see how the beef croquette is here is the beef croquette inside as you can see beef and outside croquette Let's see how this is. Nice beefy flavor. Sweet. I don't think it's too dry in my opinion. I think that's good. That's more my taste than the sardines and caper. I will go again for this. The beef croquette was very crispy outside as well. Just wanted to add that. All right, we got our next course. Oh, yeah. We're starting off with the bread right there. This is six francs worth of bread so don't know what you guys think about that but yeah and that's the butter you get to the bread so this should be two francs around that with the butter very crispy bread salted butter i absolutely love it is it worth six francs yeah i don't know um, usually you get bread for free in those restaurants but here and this is the crab cake something like that crab mousse crab okay and on my side we have stracciatella burrata so let's see how that is so hello kevin from the edit here uh, i forgot to press record when i was filming this so make it short the burrata was nothing special the crab cake was a little bit better but still just average now back to the video all right we just got another butter here it is mm. let's see if they charge for that extra as well and i'm pretty sure the water the one liter water is more than 10 francs we got our main course here it is i got the chopped veal with spätzle mac and cheese a little bit different than i expected and omar went with the scallops let's start off with the chopped veal there it is really famous for Zurich so I bet that's very good and now the whole thing good soft veal tender nice smooth flavor but yeah the juice is also quite salty 
could even be a little bit stronger in my opinion. Well, let's see about uh, Spätzle. Those are my favorite and I can already tell by dipping into it that they are too hard, not juicy enough. Yeah. They're dry, mm, good salted, good flavor, but dry because they were too long in the pan. So I need a little bit more of juice like this. And now they're good. Yeah, with the juice of the wheel, that's how you eat the Spätzle. Good stuff. So let's hear from Omar what he thinks. The scallops are really good flavor, really good cook. Not overcooked, good mix with the spices, cauliflower and a nice sauce. Tender, juicy, not dry at all, really good. This is the best dish so far. Okay, sounds interesting. Let's try the mac and cheese, sparkled with truffle. This is how it looks like. Also comes with some herbs, parsley. Let's see how it tastes. Very mild black truffle flavor, herby, bitter cheese. Definitely not American style cheese. Nice freshness with the parsley, with the herbs. I think a decent Swiss style mac and cheese. Yeah, the mac and cheese could be a little bit more salted. But here's the truffle and there is the mac and cheese. And now we have the dessert here, uh, looks very delicious. This is Omar's with the crepe and sour cream ice cream. And I went for the French baba rum. It's a kind of a cake with rum inside and this is walnut ice cream. First, let's try the ice cream. Very walnutty, sweet, creamy, good ice cream. Definitely homemade. And now let's see for the rum cake. I hope it's juicy enough. Usually it's dripping from rum. So let's go. Mm. Definitely a lot of rum inside. Sweet, cakey, and there's also some jelly. <clears throat> it's too hot. <laughs> too hot to handle. It should be like a pancake, a souffle kind of pancake, vanilla flavor. Good in combination with the ice cream and the, and the cherries. This is all about the dessert. This is how it looks like my rum cake and the walnut ice cream. So we got the dessert cart. We got the trough with Williams snaps. And they had also a madeleine, pistachio madeleine, and not nut cream, hazelnut cream. The choices were quite limited and not really my taste and super expensive like the trough we got the one right here one costs four francs one macaron costs four francs and the madeleine costs nine francs it's like so okay you're good but we're in zurich that's how it is right mm, mm. <laughs> okay <laughs> first the outside extreme chocolatey good sweet a little bit bitter from the chocolate because it's real chocolate so all good but then you get to the middle and the alcohol just kicks in it's a prune snaps and if you eat a lot of them you definitely get drunk that's the bass noise all right we have the bill here there you can see all the prices and then everything was 243.50 quite expensive So, brasserie suit, a uh, little quick resume, because I said the most about the food. Food is actually pretty decent, and I thought first it's gonna be really expensive, but at the end, it was quite average. And I think for Zurich, decent prices. So, I take everything back about the prices, except for the bread. Six francs is too much for the bread, everything else is fine. The vibe is very Zurich 
kind of vibe, very Zurich chic, not really my taste. It was a bit too loud in my opinion in the whole area. The people inside annoyed me a little bit because they really thought they are in a three-star Michelin restaurant, but it's just a brasserie, so chill. That's all I can say about Brasserie Süd. If you enjoyed the review, don't forget to give this video a like. Also, please follow my channel. See you guys in the next one. We love food, yummy. And real quick, what would I give this restaurant? We would give it a 7.3 out of 10, but just because of the service, she was incredible. And I think we were really lucky to have her. Without her, it would be a seven.